play the Rolling Stones' Midnight Rambler on a four-string cigar box guitar. <laughs> Hey, it's Shane Spiel, and I have got the new Red Barn guitar kit from CBGiddy.com. I'm going to use this in this lesson, but any fretted four-string cigar box guitar will do in this. And if you want to support this channel, remember, stubbyslide.com. That's where I have all the guitar slides. I have my book, Making Poor Man's Guitars. I even have my own handmade cigar box guitars like this one for sale over there. Check it out, stubbyslide.com. <laughs> Now I'm using a Roland Microcube and I have it on the Brit Combo setting. I have the delay halfway up to give me that echo. And I have the gain cranked. I want this guitar to sound nice and dirty. If you have a Roland Microcube, you can follow along with these settings. And especially if you have one of these Red Barn Tupelo Electrics, man, that lipstick tube just gives you that sound. <laughs> So you need a four-string cigar box guitar, and you need it tuned to open G. Now, right now, I have a capo on there. Let's tune this to open G. Open G is G, D, G, B. G, D, G, B. Why am I yelling? The amp's so loud. That's why I'm yelling. Now, this is probably one of the first lessons I've ever taught where we have to capo the guitar. Because Midnight Rambler was originally done in a standard tuning guitar, and Keith Richards capoed up so that the capo would be hitting the E string where it would be B. It's like the 7th fret. Okay, so we have to translate that for a 4 string cigar box guitar. The song is in the key of B. We have to take the capo and hit it on the 4th fret. So take your capo and clamp it on the 4th fret. Now you may need to fine tune your guitar once you capo it on the 4th fret because the tuning should be B, F sharp, B, E flat. Now I'm actually looking at my tuner because I don't memorize these things, I play by ear. So when it's all said and done, it should sound like this. This riff is very easy, but it's going to take some practice to get your fingers right. There's no slide in this. This is all fretting. That's why you need a fretted cigar box guitar. It goes like this. And the chords are B, F, E. So let's show you how to play this. First of all, the first chord is going like this. So you have open strings, and then you just take one finger, second string, second fret. See that? Remember, hold that pick so it's nice and relaxed in your hand. You want to get that picking right. You don't want to be pushing hard. Just be relaxed, calm down, and just go. The second chord is this F, and all you do is you have your first finger, second string, third fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, first fret. So they're in a little line, this little diagonal line here. Three, two, one, and this low string rings out. Hear that? The third chord goes five frets up from the capo. Put your finger the whole way across. This is on the ninth fret of the guitar. 
And you're going to do that blues chunk like you did down here. On the ninth fret, you go. So one finger across, and then you take your ring finger and hit it on the second string two frets up. See that? So all three of those go together. Watch this. I'm going to slow it down even more. Let's take this at a turtle's pace. to practice each of those chords individually so that and you can put them all together so you may need to spend some time just going until you're used to that and then you do the F chord is pretty much downstrokes. Now when Keith's playing it, he gets all sloppy and you can get sloppy with it later on once you learn the song, but you need to, may need to practice that chord. And then that ninth fret boogie. Make it slow. So all together, real slow. go from one to the next real fast you don't want to take a break like you want to learn those parts but then you want to make them flow like this Okay, now there's a second part to it, and Keith goes back and forth between verses, and what he does is he plays it backwards, and to play it backwards, it sounds like this. Now that part is a little different than going up to the ninth fret. What he does is he starts with that diagonal three two one starting on the second string second three third string two high string one and then he moves his fingers he keeps the pointer finger on that that high string do not move that but you take these fingers off and then you take your middle finger and hit it second string second fret that's your implied E chord so it goes Two, then back to the opening chug. it let me do that one just real real slow for for you guys
Keith will add some other things to it as well. Like on the ninth fret riff, he'll go. And that means sometimes in the ninth fret, instead of going, he'll take that second string, second fret, and move it to the third. See that? Once you get used to it, you add that sloppy blues to it. And then in the live version, they start going something like... these riffs and where the fingers go if you take off the capo you can create your own Keith Richards sounding blues riffs using those same forms or you can go see that there's that triangle that we just learned and then to the second chord that we had learned so Zero three two one zero two zero one open So in all these lessons, what I want is for you to use your ear, um, get used to playing these riffs, and then mess around with them. There's no rules in playing cigar box guitar. So what worked on Midnight Rambler, take that capo off, try it somewhere else and see if you can write your own song that's styled after Keith. Um, it's a lot of fun. So have fun with it. So my name's Shane Spiel. I want to thank CB Giddy for helping out in these lessons. This is the Red Barn Cigar Box Guitar Series. These are available in three and four string. Uh, I designed the art. I designed the art to look like an old barn. Find out more about these at cbgiddy.com slash redbarn. And for cool blues shirts, check out guitarrags.com. Guitarrags.com, all kind of cigar box guitar shirts. A lot of new ones over there too. Thank you so much for watching. And leave a comment below. What songs do you want to learn? I'm listening. My name's Shane Spill. Thank you so much for watching. You take care.